And thank you so much for joining me. This is A Touch of Tarot. My name is Genevieve, and I'm going to be doing a lovely reading for you. I can't wait to see what comes up. It is about when is love coming in? This is the question. So I'm going to pull three oracle cards. We're not going to flip them all over just yet. We're then going to pull from Tarot. And there will also be an extended, which is one price for all of the extendeds under my Patreon. If you want to join, you are very welcome to. Sorry, dropping cards here. Let's grab that. Okay. And yeah, that's all for now. If I need to tell you anything else, I will remember. Let's get one more card here. So for Capricorn, we're going to see what's coming up. And we're going to start with this card. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps. So the first message I get for you is when this love does come in, they are going to be the one to make the effort. This is going to be someone who comes in very strong. Um, they're not, you're not going to be confused that this person is ready and willing and wanting to be with you. Okay. This person is just going to be way more <laughs> uh, in admiration about you than you them. You're going to be like, what's going on here? Is this real? Okay. So let's see what the first message is. This card wants to come out. There we go. The Wheel of Fortune. And let's see. This card wants to come out. The Acrobat. Page of Stones is Pentacles. And, okay, saw the world there, which does give me a time frame, but it didn't come out. So I didn't feel it. But I will say... Um, the time frame already is this year. There's this change happening this year in this situation in love for you, Capricorn. Okay, let's get that final. Here it is, the final card. Oh my gosh, it's the most beautiful. <laughs> okay, wow. So let's see what's happening, Capricorn. First of all, like I said, I really feel like this is going to be a bit unexpected. Um, this person may have actually, they may be someone, you know, you obviously you may know each other, but for someone, this may be like, oh my gosh, this was right in front of me the whole time. This person had interest in me the whole time, but there was a blockage. The blockage could be for one that this person dated someone else, you know, so they were taking their time to move forward. It could have just been a natural time frame. I'm hearing natural disaster. Maybe some of them were dealing with something like that. Um, whatever it is and whatever took them so long, their feelings have been growing for you. So no wonder this person is like madly in love with you. They have had so many feelings that they have not been able to express. The blockage could have also been family or a marriage of some sort because I'm seeing the tree, but the tree is fairly dead, though it is very thick. And there is some growth on it. It's just very old. So this could be family literally was kind of in the way like you can't do this, you can't do that. So the next card, the acrobat. So I feel like this person is leaving that circus, okay? And coming towards you, I do want to say um, there's something here that's a little bittersweet, okay? This person could also be leaving a relationship that was a lot of game playing, um, but I am getting a circus vibe to it. So this could be someone who was dreaming of being elsewhere, but they couldn't. They couldn't break free or they weren't breaking free at the time, but this person is literally breaking free now. This person is ready to start over and have the life that they want. This person is ready to finally flex their muscles or flex their wings where I feel before they were quite stiff and unflexible in their belief system even possibly. Now there's been some sort of either spiritual growth or some unexplainable circumstances that have shown them, hey, life is too short. You got to get out. You stop going around the circus. Okay. And it's a bittersweet energy here with the sun. The sun usually represents masculine energy, though it goes both ways technically. Um, and the moon represents feminine, right? But you see, for some of you, this person is quite young. 
like I'm just seeing little peach fuzz. So, but it's like, it's not that. And the person doesn't have to be young, but for some of you, maybe your person doesn't grow a beard very well, or it's very patchy or something. I'm just saying for description, right? Um, but yeah, so this person, though they are very sure about moving towards who they want to move towards, probably you, the viewer, unless this is you doing that, it's a little bit sad because they do have to leave something that has, it's over anyhow. Like it's old fashioned, whatever it is. It's, it's, it's okay to leave it. It's okay to let go of that belief. Um, but obviously, you know, it's not the easiest thing. You see the tear in the sun's eye. This could literally be a son leaving home or um, breaking free from the restraints of their parenting or what their parents expected of them. You know, stay in the business, keep on doing this. And this person's like, hey, no, I have my sight on someone. I want to be there. They're calling me with their heart, right? I can't, I can't do this. I can't be in this spot. Okay, so let's see what else we have coming up here for Capricorns. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know why that took me so long to say. For Capricorns, um, in the near future, so what this tells me is in the near future, you, there's going to be a union here. And I think I said already, I saw the world card, which for me is the energy of this year. So it's very likely that you and this person are going to be um, in a union this year, because when this person comes towards you, they're not going to just disappear. Okay. It's like, they're going to say like, show, I'm going to show you what we can do. I, I want you to trust me. I feel like that's what this person's going to say. Like, we can do this, babe. We can make this happen. The world is our oyster. So look what it says here. Okay. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. So you may feel like, hold on a second. This is really fast. You're really intense. I need a minute to take to myself when this person comes in. Um, the other message I'm getting here is that you may be in the middle of taking time to yourself when this person rushes in like the guidance is if you need time take the time don't allow someone to come in and overwhelm you or force any decision on anyone it's not going to be helpful right but let's get a card before i move this into the extended you're welcome to join so i'm asking about you know this message here and we have the death card coming up so for some of you, you could actually still be tied to another person. Um, and this could be why you're like so confused about this or so kind of like, okay, wait a second, just wait a second. But I am seeing the blue string. If it was a red string, I would say, you know, maybe you're in a serious relationship. But being a blue string, I do feel that you're maybe in a situation that you don't even want to be in. Um, you may have just given... It could, or someone here, right? Leaving the situation. I'm getting a few messages. Someone could be leaving a Taurus, but it could also represent a family energy or a business. Capricorn, this could be you that still needs to cut the ties to someone or something in order to, and it's something like long-term, it's something ancient, it's something, so it could be a belief system or it could be a family uh, revenue even, right? So what I get here is, you know, you can't just jump in from one thing to the other. So it's possibly the person that's leaving a situation and coming to rush in, they need time to settle down. They need time to get their, their ducks in order they may not even realize it because sometimes when you take a move that's really like fast and intense, you just get kind of caught up in it, right? And really what you need to do is just take a step back and take a couple breaths. And I'm getting that vibe. Now, this could also be you. When this person comes in, you could have recently ended something and you still need time to take that in. That's absolutely fine, Capricorn, okay? So thank you so much. I'm really actually loving your reading. It's a bit complex, but it still is beautiful. And 
I'm going to get into this person. And this death card is important for us to explore. Like, what is that about? And even this bittersweet ending where the son is leaving, but still a little tearful, right? Okay. Thank you so much. I hope to see you on Patreon. I really appreciate you and you know it. Bye for now.